I want to make a call for final thoughts and tips around uh, wellness uh, for African-American families dealing with mental health um, so that we can reduce the stigma, in fact, remove barriers altogether for whole person living, for self-care, for just living fully and uh, not contributing to a lower quality of life, uh, which is something that we we all should be striving to live as fully as possible. So any final thoughts for our audience about uh, living fully, reducing stigma and, uh, and self-care? Just feed yourself physically, spiritually, socially, financially, and even mentally, reading something. Feed yourself in those five areas and in in your overall health and well-being just escalates. I think kind of uh, like what Cherie said with uh, to um, when you have a broken arm, you know, take it easy as far as so with your mental health, um, if you're going through a wave of depression, um, anxiety to make sure you take care of yourself. Um, we call it we all call it self-care now. Um, so if you have a broken leg, you don't fix it by taking more stairs. So if you're suffering from acute issue, um, definitely try to take some time off and work on yourself and don't pile on more. I think I would say um, I, I agree with everything that's been said thus far. I think I would I would add um, name it. I, I remember years ago I was going through a challenge and I, I didn't really know how to face it. And a friend of mine said, if you sometimes if you stare at a monster in the face and you call it a monster, it, the pain goes away. It's, it's less threatening. So what I've learned to do is not to say I'm in a bad mood to say I'm feeling some anxiety right now and I've got to, I want to get a handle on this. So for me, it helps to just name it and then we can get down to taking care of it. For, for me, one thing that I think is very, very important for anyone is suffering from um, any any form of mental illness and all and you know and we all we have to remember too that everyone is not diagnosed we all go through traumas but the the one thing that i think is important and something that i try to do is take responsibility for my life taking responsibility for the things that are are are, are not right whether you know and even even the, even the things in the past if i just take responsibility for my life and not and not wait on others to um, make those improvements that I need. I'm going to be. I'm going to be uh, all the more better for it. Um, I would say um, another um, old saying. I swear I've been here before, <laughs> but um, and I, I, I am also a um, religious person. But what a man thinks, so is he. Um, your your mental self talk, your affirmations, the things that you say and believe about yourself are true. Um, if you are getting healthier a day at a time. If you, if your goal is that you will get through this day and you're not worried about the week, um, that is what you put your energy and your um, and what you are watering. You know what you feed grows. So, are you going to grow your depression and your anxiety? Are you going to grow your healthy relationships? You're having your accountability friends that you can call about that walk. Having those people that um, invest in your time and your energy towards the, the place and, and the space that you want to be in. So I would say it's very important not to say those negative things to yourself um, because that's where it starts. So as those things start to happen, um, exactly as my brother said here, replacing that complaint about something with taking note that you are experiencing something and accepting it for that um, and being less judgmental on yourself. That's great. I appreciate all of those insights and uh, such uh, knowledge, you know, for our, for us as individuals and for our larger community. This has been a, a great discussion. Uh, we are so appreciative of the California, the Capital City. I'm sorry, Black Nurses Association for joining us, uh, and thank you for your concern for our audience and for our cause and our mission, and certainly to our content director Michael Coleman and our. 
uh, expert with lived experience and who brings um, his expertise and peer support to our model, Michael Gant, for sharing uh, his insights and his experience with us, very rich and deep and and last those um, those words of wisdom. So we are going to close now, and we look forward to our next discussion uh, about men and stigma and mental health, and certainly more to come in the weeks and months ahead. Uh, so for Mental Health California and the Brother Be Well Initiative, I'm the director, K. N. Smith, and you can get more information from our website at mentalhealthca.org. Be sure to visit our Brother Be Well page and sign up for our alerts so we can keep you in the know of what's going on. So thank you to all. I appreciate you very, very much for being with us today and uh, look forward to more conversations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.